my roommates are playing D and D tonight upstairs, and they're very loud. I kind I find it kind of funny, so I decided to record anyway. And if you happen to hear them in the background, let me know, because uh, I think that's hilarious, and I'm wondering what you guys can pick up, if anything. Regardless, welcome back to Wigs Gaming. We've been talking about the ugliest and worst designed Pokemon, and today, guys, we are going to talk about the ugliest dark type Pokemon. If you have been enjoying the series, make sure you hit the like button down below. I would love to see some feedback, and please comment. Let me know which ones you agree and disagree with, as well as what you think are the absolute ugliest dark types. Obviously, we've talked about it before in Generation 1, how there are no dark types. However, I will have to say, something like this is probably the ugliest one. I think we can all agree with that. Generation 2, though, we got some. We got some dark types, and I'll be completely honest with you. There is one that is not like the others. Umbreon is a good Pokemon. Its shiny sprite looks super cool. I think it's pretty well designed. Murkrow is a bird with a hat that's supposed to be a crow. Sneasel, what are you? Why do you exist? Why are you even a dark type to begin with? You should have just been a pure ice type. I think Weavile looks cool as an evolution to Sneasel, but Sneasel is just quite simply said a really disappointing Pokemon that got a much needed evolution, but like why what is it supposed to be what is this based off of i guarantee nobody can guess what this thing is based off of i'd be curious if anybody wants to do the research but sneasel just quite quite simple when i look at this and i do oh my gosh guys it's a cat oh i just realized it's a cat isn't it it is a cat it totally is a cat let's zoom in does that look like a cat to you i think it's supposed to be a cat and because of that I still stand by what I said. I hate cats. Moving on. Generation 3, they had some excellent dark type selections. Some of my personal favorites, including Sharpedo, Crawdon, and Absol. But you know what they also have? They also have Nuzleaf. When, when you go and you play Generation 3 when you're a kid, you think to yourself, you're in that first route, and if you played, I believe it's if you played Ruby, you got Lotad, and if you played Sapphire, you got Dot. And Dot had only Bide for like 8 or 9 levels, and then I think at like 15 or 16, it finally evolves into Nuzleaf. And this is what you get. I don't think anyone, first off, I don't know why it's a dark type. Shiftree is a pretty decent Pokemon. I like Shift Tree, but Nuzleaf is just, why do you exist? And when you look at the dark types that are on this list, guys, there are so many great dark type Pokemons on here. Pokemons, wow, who am I, 10 years old? Pokemon on here, that makes a huge difference. Nuzleaf just really disappoints me. It looked like they were kind of going for like a Pinocchio design, like if Pinocchio was a tree, and maybe Nuzleaf is supposed to look like a Nutcracker maybe, I guess is what they were going with. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm not a fan of its design much at all generation four this is a decision that's going to make some people extremely angry i do not care for dark cry i don't think it was ever a well-designed pokemon it's just a ghost but it's a dark type okay is it a dark ghost no it's a dark type okay but like does it get ghost moves no Okay, uh, it looks like maybe it could also potentially be like a fire type or something. No. So what's the lore behind it? I don't know the lore behind it. I didn't pay enough attention when I played this game. I don't really care for Darkrai. I don't know if I ever have. And to be completely honest, it looks like just a ghost and it's got an eyeball and like there's some hair back here. That's it. Like, I, I don't really think this is a legendary design that blows me away. I really don't. Generation 5. Yeah, you know, I've talked about Scraggy and Scrafty so many times. I think Scrafty looks a little bit better than Scraggy. But I think I'm done picking on them for now. Because if we're strictly talking about what is the ugliest, it's obviously Mandibuzz. Volibee, which evolves into Mandibuzz, is probably one of the worst designed Pokemon, period. But Mandibuzz, well, I, it is cool that it's both dark and flying. I just don't understand what kind of bird it is. And it just looks horrifying. Like, you have the sharp claws here 
that aren't even an appendage. It just has them on its body. Its wings are gigantic. It's got a bone going through its hair. And then it's giving you this creepy stare like it's some prostitute on the side of the street. And I just, I'm, I'm good. I'm just going to move on from that one after that, okay? Uh, Generation 6. There are a lot of really good designs for Generation 6 Pokemon. There really are. To the point where even all the Megas look really, really good. So which one am I going to pick? I'm obviously going to pick Inkay. Um, difficult choice, to be completely honest with you. Actually, it's going to be Pangoro, and I'll tell you why. Pangoro is quite honestly probably the most disappointing design I think I've seen in a long time. I think Pangoro... Literally, they just thought, oh, Little Panda evolves into Big Panda, but they didn't really expand on it more than that. I think that's kind of what I think about when I think of Pangoro. I think there was potential for Pancham to evolve into something a lot cooler, but it just didn't happen. And when I look at how many great designed Pokemon in here, obviously Greninja, one of the greatest Pokemon they've ever made. You've got Legendaries. You've got all the Megas. You've got Malamar and Inkay. It, it has to be Pangoro, in my personal opinion. It's just Big Panda. That's it. That's, the, that's what they thought of. Big Panda. Every game has done that. Generation 7. I think you guys might be upset about this answer, but it's obviously Alolan Persian. They took Persian, right? Persian's a pretty cool Pokemon, guys. We all agree that Persian's a pretty cool Pokemon. It's a strong... I know it's a cat Pokemon, and I hate on cat Pokemon, okay? But it's a super strong Pokemon. I Everybody likes it. Alolan Persian, they took Persian, they made him look really derpy, and... They kind of made him look a little bit flamboyant. Like, Persian is like, is like, Rrr. and this guy's like, hey. You know, there's a big difference between the two of them. Alolan Persian is just horribly designed, and Persian Persian is actually a cool Pokemon. This thing is just, yeah, let's go shopping. And it just, just doesn't really work for me. Generation 8. Oh, we got some choices in here. We got some choices in here. We got some choices in here. But the obvious choice is, is Impidimp himself. Uh, I think Grimstar is a really cool Pokemon. Not to mention Grimstar's G-Max form is actually one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Impidimp is just Impidimp. I have nothing more to say than... I mean, it looks like an Imp, so they nailed the design. Doesn't change the fact that it's horrifying and made of absolute nightmare fuel. Generation 9. I do want to say something, and... You guys might get mad at me, but it's just the truth. When I first saw the Generation 9 starters, I saw Fuey Coco, I saw Sprigatito, and I saw Quaxley. And I liked two out of the three. I did not like Sprigatito. It's just a generation, it's just a, a cat Pokemon. You know, it's the generational cat Pokemon, right? I don't care for that. They do that way too often. I think they need to stop doing just, it's a cat with different colors. And then Masquerada is what its final form was. And I'm sitting here and I'm thinking to myself, and I'm like, okay, they made the cat stand on two feet, and that's it. And at the end of the day, I don't know what I'm even looking at anymore. Like, it's obviously still a cat, but it has arms now. It's got, like, leaves, and it's wearing a mask. And I just don't get it. I know it's a pretty good Pokemon, but I just don't like at all what they chose to do. I mean, they went from generic cat to, like phantom of the opera almost and it really doesn't make any sense to me why they chose to do that now the best of the best what is my favorite ugly one basically what is the ugliest and to be completely honest with you i don't think i'm quite over why they ruined alolan persian so much i think regular persian really did look really cool and this thing just looks terrible it just doesn't really work for me whatsoever and this is not a Pokemon I've ever been interested in using, whereas the rest of these, I've, I've even used an Impidimp before. I would use a Pangoro. I would use a Darkrai, obviously, but that's that's all I can really get out of it. So at the end of the day, uh, Lowland Persian was a disappointment. Those are the ugliest dark types of each Pokemon generation. Let me know if you enjoyed the video, and I look forward to hearing from you guys. And please subscribe if you're new. I'm going to try and get Steel types out as soon as possible. I'll see you guys then.